thanks for staying with us. So recently, a story broke out about a man who lost his wife two years ago. Hmm. But is a He's now dating his wife's best friend. While some people are raising eyebrows about this, some are <coughs> in total support, saying that the woman in question is now dead and the living should go on ahead with life. Actually, I think it was an, a Kenyan actor. It yeah. happened yeah. to. So we're asking as a man, is it right to date your wife's best friend mm. after she passes? <laughs> <That's the issue. laughs> you would have said you were touchlighting the husband scene. Oh my God. Because really, oh, if you had no interest in that relationship before the one person passed on, you had no reason going into that marriage. The, I, I believe that there are, whenever I hear those kind of stories, I feel like the woman, or in case of the man, had his eyes or her eyes on the spouse. So this, let, let's break it down. You, you husband and wife ma married, they've been together, they probably had children, and then the wife passes on, and <coughs> the best friend comes and starts consoling the man, and then he, led, he leads one thing leads to another, the next thing you are married. There was something in there before, and I feel that But if you are dead, you do know what I'm saying. I've heard this story, and they'll say, oh, the person, the friend will be able to <coughs> genuinely take care of the husband. Hello? <laughs> So you see, for me, I, I don't think I, I don't think it's a problem at all. <laughs> I mean, as you said, you're dead, so you are not going to be here um, arguing back and forth. But the thing is, it's not necessarily about people already having feelings about each other before this sad event occurred. Is that whether we like it or not, relationships develop relationships evolve, circumstances change, and because of that, relationships change. So she's a best friend to the family, <coughs> never may have looked at him or he looked at her in that way. But they are bonded over the grief, you know, of the passing of a loved one. And probably the kids are most comfortable with her. Imagine a man who's lost his wife, and this, in this case, two years, you know, it's, I am guessing that it will be hard to just go out and meet total strangers total strangers to come to your house and be with your kids. <coughs> this is the one that they know. I can understand a relationship developing from that sort mm. of circumstance, and I can understand how it would you know, <coughs> come about uh, marriage. And for me, I don't think there's a problem. Mm. I had this conversation with my husband this morning. He was bringing all sorts of people. Would you mind if I was with this person? I said, <laughs> That's I'm, evil I'm, see, I said, I'm gone. My own is, don't marry somebody that will be wicked to my children. Mm. As long as the person loves my kids, and I don't care who it is, but don't marry my sister, Sha. I was telling my husband, I said, if I know that I'm going to go before you, I will find a good chick. Well, if you don't know. Take care of, no, I'm just saying mm, yeah. that I will take care of you when I'm gone because you are such a good man. I don't want you to suffer one day. And he found it very bizarre. So you're telling me that everything we shared, I should not mourn you for like five years. Ah. I'm like, no, I don't want you to mourn me. I've moved on. So find someone to make you happy no, 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 and no, take no, care no, of my kids. Find your friend. No, if, if I'm gone, I'm gone. That's oh, the so truth. Don't mind. But I want the friend to be a good friend. So I know person. my friends, a good person. Mm. So I know my friends so already. I know the one. Did you nominate to marry your husband? We are married. All of us are married. We're not marrying your husband. See, the challenge see, for me. It's easy to say, I'm dead. I know. Look around your friends now. I have you. Seen, you I, I, I have you. a friend I can say, yes. I have friend. many. I have I many. Have have many. Yes, I have. They move on so, <laughs> they move on so easily. <laughs> We, okay, see, this is permissive okay, let's when we're talking as women. Oh, I can let, let somebody take care of my husband. But how many men would say, let, when I go, let somebody take good care in the <laughs> they other They don't room, like it. That's not mean it will not happen. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's not even allowed. Exactly. The society Everybody frowns on it. Why, no. So why are we partial to women? Women should suffer with five children. They will raise no, the children by themselves. That's a different topic. Let me break that. I'll be right back.